आउज़बिल्लिमिनशीतवानजीम बसमीम अल्लाम आई होप यू ऑल आर गुड टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट आर यूनिट थर्टीन ऑफ प्रैक्टिकल जोमेट्री एंड वी विल डू थर्टीन पॉइंट थ्री एक्सरसाइज बाई टुडे ओके नाउ क्वेश्चन नंबर टू ऑफ थर्टीन पॉइंट थ्री Draw a circle of radius four centimeters passing through a given point C and touching a given straight line AB. That means you have to draw a circle that would touch one line and one point. So for that, what you have to do first of all, we will take a line AB that we can see we have taken, and you have to take a point D on it, any point. So what you have to do, you have to draw a perpendicular at D. okay the angle of 90 degree as you know how to make the angle of 90 degree so you will make the angle of 90 degree at point d and after that you have to take such that no first of all you will make 90 degree angle and then de must be perpendicular to this line ab this whole line is called de and this is ab so these two lines must be perpendicular to each other now next point you can see take any point c on de that must be 8 cm away from the point d now you have to take this point point c on the line de that must be now this point c must be 8 cm away as you have to draw a circle of 4 cm so you need to take the distance equal double of it so you will take 8 cm away and then what you will do bisect the line dc now you will bisect this line dc how to make the bisector first you will put the compass needle on point c and you will make an arc over here and then over here as well and then you will place the compass on d and then you will make the arc over here and then over here and you will bisect this line and this line will cut the line de at point o you can see it so take you have to then with o as a center you have to take o as a center and draw a radius equal to line oc or od so you have to make the radius equal to oc or od and you have to draw a circle that would pass through this line ab it would touch the line ab at point d and it would pass through this point c so this is your required circle of radius 4 cm Okay. Next is question number four, which states that radius of a circle is two point five centimeters. A point Q is at a distance of five centimeters from center. Draw a tangent to the circle from the point Q. That means you have to draw a circle of two point five centimeters, and you have to draw a tangent on it from a point outside to the circle. Okay. So for that, first of all, you have to draw a line segment of five centimeters because they have told that the two points. from center of the circle and the point outside the circle must be 5 cm apart so oq length 5 cm then next step what you have to do take o as a center and draw a circle of radius 2.5 cm that means from here you will i take this point o as a center and you will draw a radius of 2.5 cm as stated in the question now next draw an arc of radius 5 cm from q and then from o which intersect at e now what you have to do first you have to take o as a center q as a center and you have to draw an arc of 5 cm over here like this and then you will take o as a center and yet you will make an arc of 5 cm over here like this these two arcs would intersect each other at point e name it as e and then what you have to do join q o to e which intersect the circle at okay now what you have to do you have to join this intersecting line with the point o and it will intersect the line circle at point f now what you have to do this would be the tangent point the point at which at where the tangent would be drawn so you have to draw a line from this q to the circle uh, o the circle with center o touching at point f so this would be your required tangent okay Okay now in question number 5 radii of two circles are 2 cm and 3 cm and their centers are 8 cm apart draw direct common tangents to the circle 
now in this questions you are supposed to draw two direct common tangents to two different circles one is of 2 cm radius and other is of 3 cm radius now what is direct common tangents direct common tangents are the two tangents that would uh, be tangent at one one point of the both circle and would pass uh, to each other as you can see in the figure x y and a b are the two direct common tangents to these two circles now how to draw it first of all you have to in step one you can see draw a line segment po which is equals to eight centimeters so this is point p and this is point o so you have to draw, draw a line po equals to eight centimeters as both the circles are eight centimeters apart from each other from the centers okay so next step is draw a circle of radius two centimeters at p and three centimeters at uh, o now you can see this is this circle is of uh, two centimeters and this circle is of three centimeters at points p and o which intersect the line segment op at s and r now you can see that these both circle intersect this line at r and s these two points are named as r and s where these circles intersect the given line okay now in the next step you can see that draw a perpendicular bisector of op which intersect at point q that means the main line which is uh, this line this line po you have to bisect it okay this line and you have to make the perpendicular bisector of it as you can see this is the perpendicular bisector and this line intersect bisector intersect the given line at point q this one is the point q now what you have to do in the next step draw a circle you can write it as a circle not just a semicircle draw a circle of radius equals to po or qo with o as a center at o means o sorry at q means q as a center you have to make a circle of radius uh, equal to pq or qo as you can see that this circle this is the circle that intersect the given circles at point uh, intersect the uh, radius equals to P O and O uh, P Q and Q O Okay, now once you are done with the central circle what you have to do uh, You can see the point 5 take a point P such that measurement of P R must be equal to measurement of S T Now let me explain this point what you have to do first you have to measure the radius P R this radius which we know that it is equal to 2 centimeters you have to open the compass radius equals to pr and then what you have to do with the same radius you have to put your compass needle at point s this point this one at s and you have to draw a mark a point on this line which would be equal to p and you have to mark this point as p now what you have to do draw an arc of radius ot which intersect the circle at L. now with O as a center you have an radius equals to OT the point you have marked this as T with the radius equals to OT you have to draw a circle an arc that would intersect this given circle at point L and L prime okay with the radius equals to OT you have to draw an arc which you in the, which arc would intersect the given circle at L and L prime now what you have to do you have to join this o to l l and l prime and you have to extend this line up to m and m prime okay now on the other side you have to draw the same parallel lines pn and pn prime which would be perpendicular uh, sorry which would be parallel to om and om prime now you can see in this step draw a line from p which is parallel to om that is pn would be parallel to o m now you have got this point m and m prime here you have got n and n prime what you have to do now you have to join these two lines together n with m and n prime with m prime and these two would be the required tangents of the, these two circle and these are known as direct common tangents thank you okay next question is about two congruent circles of 4 cm each their centers are 10 cm apart draw a transverse common tangent to these circles now what is transverse common tangent are the ones that intersect each other uh, to the point adjoining the centers of the circle 
as you can see in the figure that uh, th these two are the transverse common tangents let me show you these two these this one and this one these two lines are the transverse common tangent to each other that intersects externally at some point uh, to the line in, uh, passing through their centers now how to draw this the transverse common tangents of two circle first of all you have to draw a line segment of op which is 10 centimeters as you can see this this line of op which is 10 centimeters then you have to draw congruent circles of radius 4 centimeters at point p and q so both the circles are congruent which are of 4 centimeters so you have to draw both the circles at p and o and then draw midpoint m of op and draw midpoint n of mp now what does this point means first of all you have to bisect this line as we have done in the direct common tangents as well you have to bisect this line and this uh, line would be bisected at point m you have to mark this point as m then again what you have to do you have to bisect you have got this line as mp and again you have to bisect this line and you would get one point which would be n now n as a center what you have to do draw a circle of radius n p at point n which cuts the circle at s n t now with n as a center you have to draw another circle which would intersect the given circle at point s and at point t okay so what you have to do now you have to join this s with p and then this p with s and then you have to measure these angles that n p s and n p t you have to measure these angles and you would have to make the same angles over here as well and you have to mark these points as s prime and t now measure an angle of n p s and mark angles m o s and m o t m o s and M O T. You have to mark these two angles. Now join S to T and S prime to T prime, which is the required tangent. Now you have to join this point like this and then this point like this. So these two are the transverse common tangents of each other. Okay, now in question number eight, draw angle A B C equals to 60 degrees construct a circle having 2.5 centimeters and touching the arms of the angle that means you have to draw a circle of 2.5 centimeters and this circle would touch the arms of the angles of 60 degree now let's see how to make it now first of all what you have to do is you have to draw a circle of radius 2.5 centimeters as you can see the circle is of 2.5 centimeters and then once you have to do uh, draw a diameter a b you have to take one diameter a b and then at a you have to draw an angle of 90 degrees okay and you know how to make it the angle of 90 degrees and uh, at o you have to draw the angle of 60 degrees now at this point at this point O, you have to draw the angle of 60 degrees this angle is of 60 degree and which intersect the circle at C and which would intersect the circumference at point C now again at this point what you have to do you have to draw an angle right angle at point C which intersect the X Y ray at E here again you have to make the angle of 90 degrees and you know how to make it and then this you have to draw this ray the tangent line and name it this ray as UV you can say it is named as UV and again you have to make a ray over here which would touch the point A and you have to make and name it as XY these two rays inter will intersect each other at point E okay and that means you have made an angle XEU and then you will measure this angle this angle would be equal to 60 degrees that means you have to you have made a circle of radius 2.5 centimeters and which touches the and arms of angle of 60 degrees here you have made this circle so this is all about this exercise i hope you have got it practice it by yourself thank you so much Allah Hafiz.